Hello and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. First of all, don't forget please to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and of course share the video. And before we start, I wanted to thank everybody in the comment section in the last weekly analysis video. It was really nice and awesome comments. I really felt guys your presence in the channel. Uh, instead of seeing three or four comments only, we have seen more than 65 comments, which actually was much more than my target. And really, it means a lot to me, your presence and your time that you have shared with me to give me your uh, honest opinion and nice comments. So again, thanks to everybody. And let's now begin with the midweek analysis. And of course, as usual, we'll start with the Euro USD. So regarding the Euro USD, as we can see, my friends, the market has actually fallen as we have expected, and it fell all the way almost to that, to that level of the support, which was our take profit level. But unfortunately, our sell area hasn't been triggered, which is, which is totally fine. At least the direction was correct. So let's see now what we can do next with the Euro USD. Uh, let me just first of all delete the old signal and let's see now what we can do next. Now, first of all, let's move to the daily chart. Now, on the daily chart, we can notice right here that we had, of course, a very strong key support level exactly right here at 1.07667. And recently, the market has actually made a strong bearish breakout from that level of a previous support, which was previously, of course, a strong key resistance level. So that means that the market most likely is going to make a pullback upon the pressure from the previous resistance right here. It's going to make a pullback and it's going to reverse and most likely the EURUSD is going to continue the fall uh, right after retesting that level of a resistance. So somewhere at that level of the resistance, we can actually continue shorting the EURUSD. The question is where exactly? So now, after confirming the direction on the daily chart, let's move to the 4-hour time frame. Now, on the 4-hour time frame, I need to scroll more to the left side to identify the nearest strong key resistance level and make sure that my line is drawn correctly. And there you go. That is the right way to draw the horizontal uh, resistance line, as we can see right here. Uh, the line, my friends, here is actually touching every single week in the pattern. As we can see, we had here a fake breakout and then a real attempt of the resistance. And again, a real attempt of the resistance. And if we scroll more to the left side, I think, we will notice again another attempt of a resistance on the same level, if I'm not mistaken. It was, of course, a strong key support level, as we can see right here. Um... I'm scrolling to the left side, to be honest with you. I did not check this before recording. Uh, it seems like there is not a strong resistance on this level in the past. Anyway, let's just go back to the current time. And as we can see right here, right now we are actually facing that strong bearish breakout candle from that support level right here, exactly at 1.07484. And this was, of course, the nearest resistance to the a bearish breakout candle now we need another way to confirm this entry and that can be answered by using the trend lines so what i will do next now right now is simply draw here a resistance or actually a support trend line from this lower low to this to this from this higher low to this lower low just like that fantastic so now as you can see right here my friends so we have this channel and the market has actually been ranging inside of it. And then we had here one fake breakout. And then the market has indeed managed to, ind to create the actual bearish breakout from that channel. Now we can expect a pullback upon the pressure from the support right here exactly at 1.07226. And from that point, the pullback is going to be gone. Uh, it's going to start. And right here, we can start shorting the euro USD. That being said... We have to expect from the market to rise again for about 27 pips before we can start shorting it right from that level. And the target, if, if the market is going to continue the fall, this time it's going to be right here, the nearest strong key resistance level to our entry at 1.06346, which means we can actually expect to make approximately 114 pips profit from this signal against a safe zone that shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the level of the previous support right here at 1.069, which means the safe zone is ranging for about 56 pips against 114 pips of profit. Let's now move to the pound USD. All right, so the pound USD signal has almost, almost reversed from the entry. Uh, it reversed just like by 10 pips far away from it. And however, it's running in 64 pips right now. I don't think that anyone have taken this signal, but maybe if someone have taken, taken it, then uh, congratulations to you. 
uh, it was actually a good signal and in my opinion the pound UST is of course gonna continue the fall and the take profit level is still uh, our target however if we move right now to the daily chart um, what we can see right here my friends if this the same resistance trend line what I can do right here now is actually drag the same resistance trend line let me just zoom in to show it to you so we have actually relied on that resistance trend line right here to determine our exact entry for the sell order for the euro USD and uh, as you can see the market is already uh, falling therefore what we can do next is just simply drag the same resistance trend line and place it all the way just right there at the next resistance trend line this is of course one of the tricks that i'm using in my uh, trading and i have explained it well in the video called the magic of trend lines you can find that video on my channel and of course it's uh, free for viewing and as you can see in the past this was of course a strong uh, real level of a resistance trend line which has become already a fake breakout and then again the same level of a resistance trend line has been respected now it became a support trend line and recently the market has made the bearish breakout from it now of course that is being said on the daily chart let's now move to the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame as you can see right here my friends actually you know what i'm going to move to the one hour time frame that's gonna be better now check this out now this is the resistance trend line and i'm going to make it more accurate just like that F perfect now the line here is actually more accurate as you can see it the market has been ranging in this level but it was actually a support trend line then recently became another uh, resistance trend line and the res sorry a support trend line and then later a resistance trend line now let me just zoom in to show it to you now based on the current structure that we're having now we can see that we're having right here exactly a previous support level exactly at 1.20388 this was my friends a real level of a support then we had here a fake breakout and then we had another attempt of a real support right here so meaning we can actually expect from the pound usd to continue rising for about 27 pips before we can start shorting it now and if we scroll to the left side we can see right here exactly this one check this out this was of course the nearest resistance to our entry this was of course the nearest real re resistance level to our entry as well which was previously a strong key support level that being said uh we can continue shorting the pound ust once it tries again to reach the same level at 1.208388 and i'm going to adjust the uh sell uh entry to be just right there and this time we are going to sell at 1.203 uh, <clears throat> so one second 202388 uh, and let's just keep my friends the same take profit level and hopefully this time we, it's gonna uh, reach our take profit level making more than 102 pips of profit let's now move to the um, AUD UST okay AUD UST was one perfect signal as you can see the market has reversed just like come on guys 1.5 pips from the entry i'm going to claim this signal and I'm, i will consider it as a successful one yes the AUD UST signal has been triggered and it went all the way to the take profit level making 88 pips of profit i hope you guys have taken the signal and enjoyed it and as you can see it was with a zero drawdown um of course zero drawdown because it barely touched the level but still i will take it uh, as a, a work signal as you can see the accuracy of the extreme trader signals it's just really reverse on the exact given price now what's next with the AUD UST? now let me just uh, tell you something we are going to continue shorting the AUD UST. however we have to move to the daily chart now on the daily chart we are still facing my friends a broken support trend line level check this out now in the bigger time frame we can see that we had here a strong key support trend line and as you can see the market has instantly made the strong bearish breakout from that structure in the case that the AUD UST is getting ready for another uh, rally to continue the fall and this support right here is going to be our target at 0 0.6940 now moving to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame all we need to do is identifying the strongest real level of a resistance exactly right there at 0 0.68932 that was of course on the in the past a real level of a resistance and if i scroll more to the left side we can see it was a strong key support level uh it was of course here a strong key resistance level exactly at that price so that level my friend my friends cannot be ignored 
and as we can see right here we had recently the bearish breakout from that level and of course it was a broken level of a support as we can see right here so therefore if the market is going to be able to make a pullback upon the pressure from that support my goodness from that support right there it's going to make a pullback and going to continue the rise and however that's how many pips i think 30. yes i think we can safely continue shorting the AUD USD right from that level and to confirm this entry I'm going to rely on the resistance trend line and again this is the magic of resistance trend lines that was that's that's what I'm going to do right now simply draw a resistance trend line from this higher high to this lower high just like that now what you will do now is just simply place it and actually anywhere anywhere look at that right here at that resistance trend line as you can see the market has made here the bearish breakout and most likely the market will rise again retesting the same level of the resistance trend line that is my friends the strategy of the or the magic of trend lines actually no matter how you draw it it's gonna uh, pay off i mean uh, let me just uh, select another um, another points for example this one right here just like that so as we can see that was a resistance trend line which has a fa had has faced actually a, fa a fake breakout and then again the same level of the resistance trend line has been respected it became a support trend line number one two and three now what you will do next is simply drag the very same line that you have drawn here and place it all the way just like that actually you can place it just right there check this out this was a, a resistance trend line and then a support trend line and then recently it became a support trend line then it had faced the face the fake breakout and uh, sorry not the fake breakout it actually it actually a fake breakout and right now we can uh resell again right on the retest of the level so again that is just uh, the right way or the accurate way so again uh the resistance or the magic of uh, trend lines actually works and it's a very powerful way to find the exact entry to your trades however now for the take profit level uh, we cannot actually select random levels for the take profit so let me just move to the daily chart to identify where exactly we can uh, keep the trade running to if we look at this level right here this is the nearest strong key support level to our entry actually this is the nearest support at all to our entry so meaning we are going to sell right here and the take profit level is going to be right here at that support at 0 0.67324 which means we are aiming actually 160 pips profit from the signal uh, meanwhile the safe zone should not, uh, should not actually be ranging higher than this level of a resistance right here as 0 0.69518 which means the safe zone is ranging for 58 pips against 160 pips of profit moving now to the usd cad all right so the usd cad is actually going in the right direction but it hasn't been triggered now what we can see right here for the usd cad actually here a previous real level of a resistance and seems like the, the market actually is respecting that level of a real resistance and in the middle we had here that one fake breakout so that means that the the usd cad actually has a potential to make another uh, reversal upon the pressure from that resistance but if i'm not mistaken however um right here we're having that resistance trend line and as we can see right here the usd cad has actually managed to make a breakout from that level of a resistance trend line so therefore the usd cad actually has the potential to continue the rise however it might fall for a few more pips before we can start buying it if i'm not mistaken and hopefully i'm not right here exactly right there at the previous resistance which was the broken level of a resistance at 1.34233 that's gonna be a best level to start buying the usd cad especially knowing that right here exactly we had a support number one so what we can do right now is just simply buy the same pair at the second attempt of the support now at this point i don't see any chance for the usd cad to make a bearish reversal uh let me just explain to you the reason why let me just first of all delete the old signal and let's just explain on a clear chart so based on the daily chart right now check this out right now my friends every single time we had here a bearish break a bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line the market has actually reversed indeed only right here we had a fake breakout but however every single time the market reached this level it has always reversed 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 only right here the market has made the bullish breakout from that level 
indicates that the USD CAD actually has the potential to continue the rise at the moment. And if we look at the support trend line, of course, right here, if I draw a support trend line from this lower low to this higher low, we can see right here that the market indeed seems like it's going to be respecting that level of a support trend line. It has uh, made three attempts of it. Then we had here one fake breakout and another fake breakout. And right now, if the market is going to make a pullback, it's going to reverse and respect that support trend line. So all of that together indicates that the USD CAD has the potential to continue the rise. So moving back to the four hour time frame, I'm going to choose this level of a support right here, right there exactly to start buying the market or the USD CAD. And as we can see right here on the left side, we're having that level of a support. Uh, I'm talking of course about that support right here and that support right there and this one right here. So that's, that's going to be of course our support, uh, sorry, our safe zone which means it's going to be ranging for about 41 pips. Meanwhile, the take profit level is going to be placed just right here at the absolute highest level of the resistance at 1.35197, which means we're aiming 97 pips of profit against 41 pips of safe zone. Moving now to the USDJPY. All right, so the USDJPY has indeed hit the take profit level, but of course did not trigger our uh, buy level. So let's see now what we can do next with the USDJPY. So moving to the daily chart. So as we can see, my friends, I told you before in the past many times for the last month, I told you once we see this candle, it's a good signal. It's actually a very strong uh, sign to start buying the market, especially seeing um, on a daily or weekly chart on a support level. And as we can see, the rising here, the, bull the bullish reversal is really so powerful. So. Is the USDJPY GPY overbought? I don't think so. Right here, we can see that the market has opened today, Monday, with a big gap. And however, the gap has begun exactly from the same level of a strong key support level right here at 131.601. As we can see, the, the gap or the market has opened exactly on the same level of that strong key support. Now, that tells us that the USDJPY still has the potential to continue the rise till it reaches that level of resistance at 134.803, which means the USDJPY still has about 200 pips more to go. So the question is where exactly we can start buying this pair. Moving to the four hour time frame, I'm going to give you the signal to start buying exactly from that level of a support which we have highlighted on the daily chart which means we have to wait for the USDJPY to fall for about 117 pips before we can start buying it. That's my best advice to you, my friends. Just wait for the right moment to start buying this goal, uh, the USDJPY. It's one crazy pair. It's really crazy pair. That's why I really prefer to wait for the perfect entry. As you can see right here, the market has always formed a very strong key support level. However, right after the appearance of that <clears throat> fake breakout, we can now start buying the USDJPY right after it reached that level of a support. So therefore, let's wait for the market to fall again. And by the way, that's going to ha happen very soon. Check this out. In just one single day, the market rose for about 119 pips. Therefore, right now we are facing here a resistance, which means that the USDJPY might actually start the pullback and reach the same level of that support. This right here represents support number one then we can start buying exactly on the second attempt of the support so just wait my friends it's gonna pay off i think and therefore we are actually aiming 322 pips of profit meanwhile the safe zone shouldn't be ranging lower than the the absolute lowest level of a real support right here at 130.242 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 135 pips against uh, 320 pips of profit. Moving now to the UCCHF. UCCHF signal has been perfect, perfect signal. It has reversed exactly from the given price at 0 0.92319 and running currently in 50 pips of profit. Guys, please let me know in the comments if you have taken this signal and enjoyed these profits and let me know what do you think about the quality of extreme trader signals. But however, the USD CHF signal remains the same as we are actually expecting from the market to make a pullback upon the pressure from the resistance right here to rise to actually sorry to fall all the way right here to the same entry and reverse again from that point. 
and that uh, support trend line can actually be adjusted just to be like this so therefore we can expect from the UCCHF to fall all the way to the entry and reverse again upon the pressure from that support trend line therefore UCCHF signal just remains the same let's now move to the gold all right so the gold actually has reversed of course really far from the entry uh by almost 50 pips away from it however let's see now what we can do next with the gold so i'm going to delete the old signal since i don't think it's uh, valid anymore and let's see now what we can do uh on the gold and let's move to the daily chart now on the daily chart the first thing that we can see right here is that level of resistance right here at 1878.12 and as you can see, the gold has reversed upon the pressure from that uh, level of resistance. And so far, it seems to me like the gold is actually going to continue the fall till it reached that level of a support at 1832.43. So meaning our old take profit level just remains the same. Now it's a matter of where exactly we can start shorting the gold again. So moving now to the four hour time frame. And you know what? Let's move even to the one hour time frame. Let's see the things in details. Now, what I'm going to do, my friends, is simply draw a resistance trend line from this higher high all the way to this lower low, just like that. As you can see, the market has indeed kept respecting that level of a resistance trend line. Uh, it faced actually a, a real uh, breakout and then it became a support trend line. And then it rose again all the way right here, creating a fake breakout. And then that level of a resistance trend line has indeed been respected again. So what we will do next is simply drag the very same support uh, resistance trend line and place it just right there. Fantastic. Actually, just right, right there to be accurate. Just right there is exactly. Um, I want to make it a ray so we can see it extended just like that. Fantastic. Now I want to show you how in the past the market has respected that level of a resistance trend line. Check this out. It was right here, my friends, a, sub, a resistance trend line, a real level of a resistance trend line. Then we had a fake breakout. And again, uh, again, it became another resistance trend line. Then again, a support trend line for only one single attempt. And then instantly the market has made the breakout from it. And again, the same level of a resistance trend line has been respected again right here. A resistance trend line number one, again, a resistance trend line number two. All of that together indicates that the gold is indeed respecting that level. So that means we can most likely continue selling the, U the gold exactly from the uh, level of the resistance right here at 1874.05. This was, my friends, a real level of a resistance. Then we had here the fake breakout. And again, we can see the, go uh, the gold is actually rising upon the pressure from that previous resistance right here and the support right there. So therefore, if the market is going to make a pullback, first of all, it's going to be respecting that level of a resistance. And second of all, it will be respecting the level of a, res uh, a resistance trend line. So all of that together tells me that selling the gold exactly at 1874.05 is going to be uh, a good idea. Therefore, we will actually be aiming about 417 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the level of a nearest support to our entry right here at 1891.94 which means the safe zone is ranging for about 17 uh, sorry 177 pips against uh, 409 pips of profits and there goes your signal my friends for the gold and the usd pairs for the remaining days of this week hopefully my friends is gonna pay off and hopefully it's gonna be very profitable signals for everyone and again i would like to thank everybody in the comment section and i hope you guys will never stop giving me the support by uh showing activity on the channel let's make the channel alive again let's bring the view rates up again uh the weekly analysis video used to have about um in the past of course 6,000 to 7,000 views now it barely 2.4 thousand views and that is disappointing i think this channel deserves more um i'm not saying that the other channels are not doing well of course not at all i'm just saying that the extreme trader channel is really doing a lot of efforts uh to the audience and i hope guys that you can do the best you can to share this video and subscribe to the channel hit the like button do the best you can to support and of course to uh make the videos go viral and hopefully it's gonna be famous and getting more audience and attention so until then i want to warn everybody about the news 
always pay attention to, the, to it and don't ever keep any trade running before the news be out so until then i hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching